My name is Mark Firestein. I'm the chief pilot for the 747 programs at Boeing. One of the big considerations for the first flight is weather. In January and February in Seattle, the weather obviously isn't always so good. The amount of daylight is a consideration too. All of our first flights are chased. That is, we have a safety photo chase plane. Uh, we have an experienced pilot flying the chase plane who knows the test airplane very well. And we have a very experienced photographer taking detailed video and still photographs of the airplane. The uh, chase planes, our T-33s and our T-38s, are not very happy flying in bad weather. So we have to take that into consideration as well. Test pilots, uh, particularly the folks who wind up being chief model pilots, often have flown in all of the different positions of all of our airplanes somewhere earlier in their career. In my case, as for most of my peers, that includes all of our chase planes, uh, flying safety photo chase on previous developmental models. So we know what we're looking at from the chase pilot perspective and from the test pilot, uh, the pilot of the test airplane perspective, we also understand the requirements and limitations of the chase plane because we are the commander of the formation and they're two very different diverse airplanes in terms of capabilities and limitations. So our job in real time is to keep an eye on our flying partners, on our chase plane partners, and they keep an eye on us. Come first flight day, uh, it's obviously a very exciting day. And it's, uh, there's a lot of, a lot going on that day. I think for the test teams, uh, both the chase pilot team and the test airplane team, we're simply focused on a very detailed task that we have choreographed and scripted and practiced many times. We simply intend to execute the plan that we've laid out. A big part of any first flight is obviously being prepared, trying to anticipate all possibilities. But what we're really focused on is doing the normal flight profile per the plan. The plan is set up, we've practiced it, we know how to do it. We're going to stick to the plan. While the weight of the airplane is such that we might be able to rotate in the neighborhood of 140 knots, we'll likely rotate in the neighborhood of 145 or 150 knots, somewhat faster than would ordinarily be required. One thing that a lot of people will notice on the first flight is that the landing gear will remain extended. We're purposefully going to keep the landing gear extended probably for the first hour or so of the flight while we do various systems checkouts. The flaps will also remain extended. Over the course of that hour, we'll be doing basic handling qualities evaluations in different flap configurations, and then slowly we'll be accelerating to somewhat faster speeds, and we'll be doing uh, different types of evaluations on the uh, flight controls and on the basic systems of the airplane over the course of the next few hours. The landing will be at an ordinary flap setting, but at a slightly faster speed, just like the takeoff will have been performed at a slightly faster speed. The first flight of the airplane, the 747-8, is obviously going to be a big day for a big airplane. Thousands of people behind the scenes have made that day a reality, and thousands of people behind the scenes are going to continue to work for the next eight to 10 months to make the flight test program a great success.